So today I'm gonna make you my sweet and spicy squash on the grill. It's got some maple syrup, some hot sauce, cinnamon, butter, salt, pepper, and a little bit of time on the grill. And it's all worth it because it makes a delicious squash at the end. All right, so we start by taking our squash. We split them into quarters or halves. So I'm brushing these with canola oil and I'm just gonna sprinkle them with salt and pepper first before we head to the oven. We put it in the oven for about 30 minutes with some canola oil, salt and pepper, just until it gets a little softer. Um, you could do it directly right to the grill, but it's gonna take a good hour to an hour and a half for squash. So cutting down some time by using an oven is a great idea. Once we've got it out of the oven, we're actually going right to the grill. We're gonna come back and we're gonna hit them with our flavor bomb. So I've got a, you know, a few tablespoons of super soft butter. This is a mixture of maple syrup and a spicy pepper hot sauce. Then we're gonna add a little bit of uh, cinnamon and a touch more salt and pepper. Now, this is enough to do at least four cut halves or eight quarters of squash. All right, so these squash have just come out of the oven. I've just popped them on the grill, cut side down, because I want some color and I want some caramelization on the surface of the squash before we fill the cavities with all sorts of awesomeness. All right, so I have just flipped over my squash. Look at those beautiful grill marks on there. A little bit of color around the edges already. And now we just want to take it to a whole other level. If you like squash, this is going to become your new most favoritest way to do it because it's sweet, it's spicy, um, you've got that great texture from the butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're just going to coat the whole thing. We're going to let this go until it's absolutely tender. And so what it does is that sweet and that spicy all sits under there and it just bubbles away and it gets happy, happy, uh, and it just tastes amazing. So we leave those to sit. We close the grill. All right, so we are back at the grill and we have got our sweet and spicy squash. Look how soft they are. Oh, you know, all of that sauce in there is caramelized. It's like squash candy with a little bit of spice almost at this point. I love these and these are perfect for the holidays as well. Everyday eating, family occasions. And here's a tip. You actually take them out of the peel and mash them up almost like a potato. It's really delicious. You know, I've used acorn squash for this recipe, but if you like butternut, if you like any of those other types of squash, it is a great mix. In fact, this actually goes really well with carrots. So if you wanna grill up some carrots and have a sweet, spicy carrot, check out our video right here on how to do grilled carrots and just substitute this base. So this has been my recipe for sweet and spicy squash. It's delicious, it's great for holiday entertaining, it's great for everyday eating, and heck, your vegetarian friends will love it too. So for more tips, tricks, barbecue awesomeness, make sure you subscribe to our channel because life is too short for bad barbecue.